Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Kara if you're new here and today's video is going to be another fashion file unboxing and I am so excited. I feel like this lighting might be kind of crazy. Hopefully it's not. So some things I want to say about this bag. I ordered it while I was home in Michigan for Thanksgiving but before I went to Michigan I flew to Chicago to see my best friend. While we were in Chicago we did some shopping and we went to a consignment shop and I saw this bag. They were selling it for a thousand dollars and I knew it was should not have been sold for a thousand dollars and also the sales tax in Chicago is quite outrageous. So, I did not get it from that consignment shop, but it's a bag that I had been looking at for so long and, well, I guess I shouldn't say like this particular bag, but I had been looking for similar ones for such a long time, but I had never seen them in this colorway, which is what I loved about it. Um, I feel like I had always seen them in like black, gray, dark brown, things like that, but I wanted like a neutral one. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, like it's perfect. But they were selling it for $1,000 and I was like, fashion file would never. I got home back to her apartment that night and I was like, I'm just going to like Google it and see what I can find. Sure enough, like it was a sign from God, like fashion file had it for less than half the price. And I was like geez like I have to get it but the problem with that is I was not home in Maine and I wasn't going to be home in Maine for over a week so I was really nervous that I didn't want it to get delivered while I wasn't home and I also was nervous because Black Friday was coming and I was like if I don't get this someone might snatch it so I tried out their reserve system for the first time and I had a great experience. Basically what that is, is you put, it's not available for everything, but if it is available, it'll say like available for reserve or something like that. So basically what that is, is you put 25% down and then you have 60 days to like complete the purchase. So my plan was to put it on reserve and then like right before I left to go home, I would like complete the purchase so that it would come. So that's basically what I did. I put 25% down, then it was reserved, no one else could buy it over Black Friday or anything like that. And then right before I left Michigan to come back here, I like completed the purchase. And then it shipped, so I just got back on Tuesday, last Tuesday, it's now Monday, and it was just delivered, so I'm so excited to open it. I feel like that's all I wanted to say before I opened it. The box is bigger than I thought it would be. But this is what they're this is what the box looks like whenever you buy something from fashion file they always have like this tape on it and stuff yes i'll just go for it. i have my box cutter here from the bottom of this box thank you okay paper so in here they have Oh, we have a little 2023 calendar. I saw these on their website. Maybe I saw it on Instagram, but I thought it, I was either too late or too early and I wouldn't get one, but that's really exciting. I'll probably put this in my office. So cute. And then they always send these nail files and these nail files are actually so good. The grit is like fine enough, but also like, I don't know it's just such a good nail file and it comes in this like little protector thing so I actually really like these a lot okay so here we go oh it did have this sticker on it but it looks like it came off take that off also all fashion file I know I've said this in like Think a different video but all fashion file bags come in the fashion file dust bag even if whatever you ordered came with the original dust bag so my YSL and my Bottega were both from fashion file both came with the original dust bag this bag is actually vintage so it did not come with the dust bag but yeah I use the fashion file dust bags either as dust bags for 
other bags that don't have dust bags um or I use them as like filler for bags so oh my gosh here she is it's the Fendi I'm gonna guess it's Zucchino because it's spelled like zucchini so <laughs> zucchino uh pochette in beige i've seen this bag in black and gray and dark brown and but i had never seen it in beige and when i saw this bag in chicago i was like she is the one for me because i've also been super into shoulder bags recently i just think they're so comfortable and normally i carry my ysl toy lulu which is a crossbody bag but i usually only put it on one shoulder because putting it over for one i don't really like putting it across my body it's a lot of work it looks kind of like i don't know i don't want to say it looks chunky but you know what i mean anyways so I just find that shoulder bags are really comfortable and yeah I just love this color I have a black shoulder bag already so I didn't want to get another one um, and I just love this color so much and in case you were wondering I bought this bag I think it was I have no idea where my phone is right now I think it was 450 because yeah it was definitely 450 because like after tax I think it was like 475 um and the chicago store was selling it for a thousand dollars and i'm like fashion file would never do me dirty like that i love fashion file you guys okay so there's a little tiny little speck right there that's okay and then you guys saw this little stain i feel like it's not as noticeable in real life as it is on camera oh my gosh look at that it's so cute okay also i love this bag because the bottom of it is wide and my other shoulder bags are like half of this so my camera will easily fit in this like that's the issue i'm having with some of my bags right now is i needed to fit my phone my wallet and keys in my camera and then the other like essentials hand sanitizer whatever and some of my bags won't fit that and i like how this one it's like the same size but bigger do you know what i mean uh it's so stinking cute oh my gosh i love it so much show you a thumbnail so the inside does have you can't even tell it just has like a tiny little stain this bag is Okay, I think this bag is from around 2002 because I couldn't find a year for this exact one, but I found one that's, I think it was the same bag, but a different color, and it said 2002. I don't know how accurate that is. I guess I'll try to do more research on it, but because this bag is like so old, I knew I wasn't going to like find one in brand new, perfect condition. I think Fashion File had this listed as very good. But it does have, it's basically just one big pocket. It has one little slip pocket here. And then it's just one big whatever. And it looks like this little guy, oh, this little guy is adjustable, but I probably won't adjust it. The inside just, oh, this, the protective sticker is like still on it interesting um doesn't smell thank god if the bag has a musty odor or like a perfume or cologne odor it will list that so always always check the description because if a bag says it has a musty odor or any kind of odor whatsoever i'm not buying it like period <laughs> zipper says fendi all the hardware says fendi the inside and normally, you guys, normally I'm not a logos person. I don't really like big logos. I don't, I don't know, Louis Vuitton is like not my thing. 
I like some of their like leather stuff and like some of their checkered stuff I like but it really depends on what it is like I like the bought chapeau I don't know I just love this bag what do you guys think I'm obsessed with the color I think that's all I have to say about it basically I'm obsessed and I love fashion file my dream my absolute dream just put it out into the universe one day I would love to work with fashion file I'm like literally their biggest fan my cartier ring fashion file like i said my ysl fashion file my bottega fashion file my fendi fashion file i love fashion file always just like always check you know and you know maybe you'll have to wait and you can't get like the instant gratification but you know what you can get thousands of dollars of savings so do we think my kindle will fit in here Hold on. I just like grabbed some stuff to just stick in it. I have my wallet and keys, my phone, iPhone 10R, in case you're wondering. Um, this is my Kindle, Kindle Oasis. Um, I also like that this bag was like bigger. I could potentially just, even if it's like unzipped, just stick my Kindle in it because I also don't have a lot of bags that my Kindle fits in. So, okay, here we go. These are Ethan's sunglasses. Okay, so it looks a little funky, but hypothetically, like if I needed to, I could put my Kindle in it. Will it zip? Oh yeah, it'll zip. And I think I could also, I could definitely also stick my camera in here too. My camera, my Kindle, my phone, my wallet, my keys, sunglasses, hand sanitizer. I could literally all fit it all at once. I think I need to end off this video because I don't think I even have enough storage to like edit it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.